Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Here with your daily free picks. All right, guys, so we have a very busy day today. Um, I have three free picks and I have six additional masterclass plays, all one unit plays today, guys, uh, but nine in total. I got a mix of college basketball, NBA, and hockey for you guys today. Um, quick recap of yesterday. Okay, so we went uh, one and one in our free picks, guys. We had uh, Florida and Tampa to go over. Um, they cruised over in that game. It was really nice, actually. Uh, I know a hockey squirrel at Tampa Bay in that game, and uh, I was actually out doing some running around. I got a text that said uh, something like, good start, uh, which I rarely get a text from him just saying something like, good start, so I knew it must have been pretty epic. Anyways, I looked at it. It's like five minutes in. They got two goals. Uh, that'll work. So um, the next game, guys, uh, we had Wisconsin and Baylor. We had them under 137. I would imagine, given that it's March Madness, that a lot of you guys were watching. Uh, I know a lot of you guys were watching. And yes, you know what? Look, it was a frustrating end to the game. Um, it was a frustrating end to the first quarter, to be honest. Uh, you know, the first, end of the first quarter, they got 11 points in the last minute. 11 points in the last minute. That's like what you'd expect at the end of the second quarter. But basically, um, they hit a couple free throws, and then they hit three three-pointers back-to-back-to-back. Uh, to end the first half. So like we were trending under fairly easily. And then after that, uh, it was looking pretty bleak. It was already looking bad. Now, second half starts and it starts to trend all the way back down to where we have about a 92% chance of this game going under. So we're feeling pretty good about it. But, you know, we know, we know with the score what it is, what's going to happen. Okay. Now, um, you know, I, there's two things that you want to see in college basketball when you're betting an under total, okay? Not that you have any control over it, but if you're at home playing the home game cheering, then follow along here. There's two things that you want to see. You want to see an absolute, complete blowout, okay? You want to see a team up 20-something points still have that total trending under. But you want to see them, you know, 20-plus points up going into the last couple minutes. Or, or you want to see a tight game. Okay, I know I see people like, you know, on social, well, not social media, what do you call it? Uh, like the score app and stuff like where you're live commenting, um, you know, saying like, come on, like pull away so they'll stop fouling. Actually, you do, you kind of want to see it close to the end. Yes, there's a risk of overtime, which we have been burned by a few times. But in close games, guys, um, there is no, there is no reason to foul at the end of the game. Okay, and very, very close games. Typically, you'll see those games go right down to the wire and then you'll see that last minute, you know, three-pointer to tie the game that we're like, no, and hopefully it bounces off and goes out. So you want that's ultimately what you're looking for because when you have a close game, you know, when it's 61-62, the teams are not going to foul each other back and forth, right? So that's what you want to see. So you really want to look for like blowouts or you want to look for those tight games, right? So um, ultimately, guys, you know, does it play a factor in picking the game in terms of what the line is on the game? Yes and no. So for the most part, the answer to the question is no, it does not. However, however, when you do look at teams, okay, because you're, you're ultimately not going to predict a really close game, okay? I mean, it's kind of a coin flip. If, you know, even if a team's minus one and, and or plus two, you're not going to predict that it's going to be neck and neck at the end of the game. It's just too hard to do and it's too random. However... There are certain situations where you can factor in a little bit of increased value given the fact that you do not believe that there'll be fouls at the end. Now, what what, what would be one of those examples where um, you might not get fouls at the end of the game? That might be, you know, a Gonzaga versus upside down yellow state minus 45 points, something like that. You know what I mean, guys? You're not going to see fouling at the end of the game, typically, okay? When you have a massive favorite, you know, a 20-point-plus favorite, um, it's rare to see foul at the end of the game. However, even the 20-point favorites, not only do they lose occasionally, but, you know, every once in a while, those teams hang around, okay? Um, you get a resilient team like a Cleveland State or something like that that, like, you know, can battle, and they hang in there. And, you know, everyone's expecting a 30-point loss, and it's like six points at the end of the game. You might see some fouling. But by and large, guys, when I'm handicapping my games, okay, um, I don't really take into account too much when it comes to, like, you know, the prediction of this back-and-forth fouling that you're going to get at the end of a lot of games. 
Um, but the only time I will take that into consideration um, is in these really, really high spread games. Okay, so yesterday, guys, I'm fortunate to see uh, Wisconsin and Baylor. Um, I, I know, I know, look, I know when they were fouling, when Wisconsin was fouling at the very end, they had no shot of coming back. But tell that to the kids, right? Tell that to the kids that, you know, this is their season. Um, you know, there's 15 seconds left on the clock. They're down eight points. They're down 10 points, whatever. Um, you know, you, they probably didn't have to foul. They shouldn't have fouled. Um, is what it is. Okay, guys. So anyways, uh, one on one masterclass, guys. We ended up um, we ended up down one unit on the day. Um, we had a bunch of long shots yesterday. We had uh, three plays um you know plus 200 area or above and um we didn't get any of those but um we did get a couple basketball wins uh, a couple more college basketball wins finished two and one in college basketball so uh we're gonna move on to today guys so today uh like i mentioned i have three plays for you guys i have um because like i said before guys i have if i have college basketball plays i have to give out a college basketball play because march madness is on i have to give one to free picks um, if I showed up with like a hockey and two water polo picks, you guys would be pretty upset. And I get that. So we're going to give out, um, one college basketball, one NBA, one hockey. Okay. So something for everybody today, guys. Uh, and we will get started with Alabama. Okay. Alabama guys, minus five and a half. So Bama minus five and a half. Um, I think there's a lot of reasons to like Alabama in this one, guys. Um, been over this game a number of times and uh, I just, I think the line is just too low. Um, as to some of the sharps, guys, two different steam bets on this game so far. I'd expect more steam to come in, to be honest. Uh, so Alabama minus five and a half. Next, guys, we go over to the NBA, where we will be taking Cleveland plus four points. Cleveland plus four. There's some steam and reverse line move, guys. Uh, I ultimately, guys, I when I look at this, I think that if I'm I'm looking at this game, guys, as being an absolute stone cold pick 'em, and you might you guys might be like Bender, you're crazy. Cleveland should be getting five or six or 10 points or whatever. No, I, honestly, guys, it is a pick and we're getting plus four. So let's rock and roll. And don't be shy to sprinkle a little bit on the money line. Now, what do I mean when I say sprinkle a little bit on, sprinkle a little bit on the money line, okay? That's my, my salt bay for sprinkling money line. Um, it does not mean take half your bet and throw it on the money line. No, that is not what that means. I know, I know some people hear that. Say, better told me to bet 90% of my bet on money line. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, guys, is when I say sprinkle, I mean 5%, 10%, okay? A uh, little bit uh, of incentive to increase, you know, your bankroll just a little bit more. But to me, guys, the value here is taking that four points. Um, again, I think the line should be zero. I like the force so of sprinkle a money line, okay? Uh, next, guys, we are going over to hockey, uh, and we are going to take the Carolina Hurricanes. Carolina Hurricanes, minus 155. I have three system indicators on this game, guys. The only reason we're getting 155, and I have a couple reasons, okay? Potentially looking at starting backup goalie. Uh, I'm totally fine with that. Um, secondly, guys, you know, uh, they haven't performed as expected over the last couple games, but that's only in terms of the actual pucks they managed to put in the net. Their scoring chances, guys, have been great still. They have been great. They just haven't been able to capitalize. And there's so much talent on this team. It is just a matter of time, and I believe today is that time. So we are going to take the Carolina Hurricanes minus 155, guys. Three system indicators on the game. I like the Canes here, okay? So that is it for us today, guys. If you guys are interested in Masterclass, I have six additional plays. Um, I almost had my first baseball play today, but I decided. I haven't taken a single baseball bet in spring training. If you guys are going to take like baseball bets in spring training, um, later on in spring training is the time to take your baseball bets. Okay. Early on in spring training, um, unless you're in Dunedin or, you know, wherever they're, they're hosting it, wherever your team is and you're, you want to be there, unless you're physically there and you like have ears to the ground and you know, like, you know, starting lineups and you know how long pitchers are going to be going. Um, it's damn near impossible. Okay. I mean, you could have the greatest pitcher in the world versus the worst pitcher in the world. And then, you know, they'll literally pitch one inning of baseball and they both come out and now they have their best one and this was the worst one. But now as you start to get later on, now you can start to find some mismatches and stuff. Um, you can find teams that are starting their opening day rosters versus teams that are not starting their opening day rosters. Guys, yesterday, um, 
Yesterday's one of them. Look at Cleveland. I wasn't going to lay minus 180 on Cleveland, but Cleveland had a huge mismatch in that lineup. Uh, maybe I should have. Anyways. Um, oh, one last thing to talk about. You guys are like, no, I'm done with you, Bender. I already got my picks. One last thing to talk about. Uh, so look, yesterday, guys, I said I had a couple leans, right? I had a couple leans, and um, I ultimately laid off on those games. Um, and I'm feeling very happy that I did because both of those games lost. So, you know... Um, I'm glad, I certainly am glad I didn't give them out, but I, again, you know, I said they're, they're leans, but I wasn't going to bet them. And I told you guys why I wasn't going to bet them. And both those games would have lost. So, you know, again, it shows the value guys when you, you've got your card. Okay. And you're, you're ready to go, you know, just give it that one, one more time over. Okay. I know, I know it's like, you know, I, I've been through the game bender. I know what I'm picking, but just go through it one more time. Is there anything you can talk yourself out of? Can you talk yourself out of just something that's like maybe borderline? Okay, save two units, right? More, save two units plus the juice. All right, guys, again, interested in Masterclass? I have uh, six more plays for you guys in Masterclass. Benderwins.com. I think I get six, yeah, six plays. Benderwins.com, guys, it's $99 a month. Um, the $99, it starts from the day you sign up. Doesn't matter what day of the month it is. So if you sign up today, you will get it for an entire month before you have to pay again. All right, guys. So thank you very much. And as always, guys, have a very lucky day.